and I had to increase a lot of my food intake. I had to take in a lot of food. And that's how I got big. You know, as a natural bodybuilder, I started off at 135 pounds. And by the time I was 21, I was 230. So I had increased my weight almost 100 pounds. And I see all the time, you know, on the internet and Facebook and stuff, people are like, well, you can't build size naturally. You can't get that big naturally, but you can. You've just got to really eat a lot of food and not be afraid to bulk up. You know, I think a lot of the younger guys today, they want to have abs all the time. They want to look sexy all the time. You know, they yeah, want to look yeah. good and they're afraid to gain any size, but you've got to eat. And especially in my case, my metabolism was so fast. I had to force feed myself almost. I was eating like 4,500 calories a day, which is a lot of food. If you start counting it up, 4,500 calories is really a lot of food. It's way more than you think, you know? Yeah, that's, I think they just want to have that look for the Instagram. I think it's the yeah, social media. Yeah. It's the era, right? It's really unfortunate. Yeah, you got to look good all the time, right? Yeah, it's, it's doing definitely a detriment to the gains. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. You got to kind of get a little ugly looking, you know, to get to gain that size. You know, you got to go off season. And especially if you're like in the growing phase, if you're young, like with me, I remember there was a point where I was stuck at 205 pounds and I could not get any bigger. I was eating a lot. I was only training four days a week. I was eating six meals a day. I was doing everything right. And it was like, my body was just stuck for like eight months. I couldn't gain a pound. And finally, I just started counting up what I was eating. I said, All right, I got to figure this out. So I started figuring out exactly what I was eating. And then I started drastically increasing the calories. I said, I'm just going to keep eating more and more and more until I find the point where my body starts to gain weight. And that point is different for everybody. Everybody has a different calorie amount that they need. Now, of course, that, that I'm older, it's totally different. I can't do that. I have to eat less calories, much less calories, because if I don't, I'll get fat. And in fact, now I'm trying to stay leaner all the time. I'm not bulking up anymore because it doesn't make sense for me to do that at my age because I'll just look worse. And at this point, I'll just put on more fat than muscle. But when I was in my 20s and 30s, it worked because when I was eating that much food and I was putting on some fat, the way I looked at it was now that I'm eating this food, I have to, I owe it to myself to do harder workouts in the gym because now that I have all these carbs and all this calories and all this energy, now I can lift more weight. Now I can put more into my training. And that's the way I would look at it. If I'm eating more, okay, now I got to train harder. If I'm eating more, now I got to train heavier. And the extra calories would allow me to train heavier and the heavier weights allowed me to build more muscle. So it all worked together. But if I did that now, most of it would be fat and not enough muscle. So it wouldn't be worth the sacrifice. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, that's you're not the first person, I guess, above 50 that I've spoken with uh, bodybuilders that have said yeah. that. So it makes sense. I guess things do, do really change uh, after 50. Yeah, if you look at uh, natural bodybuilders as they get older, it's either they're lean and ripped all the time or they're bulky, but kind of fat. Like natural bodybuilders can still look big as they get older, but they've got to be kind of fat. Or if you stay leaner, then you're, you're smaller. The first Natural Mr. Universe I did, which was in 1992, that was part of their organization. And uh, the reason I did that show was because I always wanted to win Mr. Universe. And I never heard, I didn't even know they had a Natural Mystery Universe. I didn't know that something like that existed. So when I started competing in natural bodybuilding,